An alternative for tobacco smokers that became popular among teens could possibly be a thing of the past. Thanks for joining us. I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Josh Rowe. The CDC reports there's been a decline in the amount of teens that vape or use electronic cigarettes across the country. But here in Tennessee, those numbers are increasing. Those products containing many harmful chemicals, including the addictive and toxic substance known as nicotine. Vapes are less harmful than smoking tobacco, but can also harm youth brain development. Although there is a decrease in overall usage, a little more than 6% of high schoolers are still using vapes and some health officials say that's a good sign. News Channel 9's Jacqueline Davis shares more on the effects of using these products. Jacqueline. Yeah, Josh, Latricia, the CDC says a 26% decrease in the amount of teens using e-cigarettes this year compared to last year. Health experts I spoke to say young people are more likely to experiment when they see others doing it around them. Knowledge has been really powerful in preventing young people from using these um, devices. The CDC says 19% fewer high school and middle schoolers across the country reported use of any kind of tobacco product this year compared to last. Jeanette Wyatt with the Nicotine Prevention and Cessation Program says that includes e-cigarettes or vaping. It's in the product. So when you think about tobacco, um, you think about nicotine, right? And you can't have tobacco without nicotine. And so within the vaping products, there is tobacco. But when you look at the state of Tennessee, the Department of Education survey there shows an increase in high school students using vapor products in 2023. E-cigarettes um, really tailored their products towards youth. Dr. Brian Williams with the University of Wisconsin says that's because young people are more likely to experiment. They came up with really great flavors. They had labels that were appealing to kids. So I think the e-cigarette makers did, did a, a really focused on making these products appealing to youth. They are seeing their peers do it, and it's social media as well. Um, and also they see someone that they love doing it, whether it be their parents, someone that they look up to, uh, that's an influence as well. Williams says that tobacco use in cigarettes has seen a huge decline. Young people know that cigarettes cause cancer. Young people know that cigarettes cause lung disease and heart disease, so that has made them much less popular. But he wants teens to know e-cigarettes can do just as much damage. They can damage your lungs. You can become addicted to nicotine um, pretty easily with e-cigarettes. We know that addiction can increase anxiety. Wyatt says the best advice for parents is to have an open conversation with their children about the damages tobacco can cause. Latricia. Jacqueline, thank you. The CDC reveals e-cigarettes are the most commonly used tobacco product for teens and nicotine pouches. Follow right behind it.